Hello physios. Today we will we'll learn on exercise therapy MMD topic which it is a practical session where I go for your understanding in easily way of words. First in upper limb we go for three joints shoulder, elbow and wrist. MMT of shoulder joint. What are the actions for the shoulder? Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, internal and external rotations. The grades of MMT is important while you are assessing the patient. Your grade 5, it tells about complete range of motion against the gravity with maximal resistance. Grade 4, complete range of motion against the gravity with minimal resistance. Grade 3, complete range of motion against the gravity without the resistance. Grade 2, complete range of motion with gravity elemented plane. Grade 1, visible or palpable contraction with no motion. It may be a flicker of contraction. And grade 0 is no contraction. Firstly, we we like to know the muscles for the shoulder joint to the actions. Flexors, your deltoid, anterior fibers of deltoid, clavicular head of pectoralis major, extensors, posterior fibers of deltoid, latissimus dorsi, abductus, serratus anterior, upper and lower fibers of trapezius, adductus, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, short head of biceps brachii, long head of triceps brachii. Medial rotation, pectoralis major, anterior fibers of deltoid, latissimus dorsi, teres major. Lateral rotation, infraspinatus, posterior fibers of deltoid, and teres minor. If we go on entering into the shoulder flexion, here you can see the picture for the grade 5 and 4. 5 is your maximal resistance and grade 4 is your minimal resistance. Remember these two points. And firstly, the position of patient is important. Here you can see this picture, short sitting and the arms at raising to the 90 degrees. Your elbow is flexed, whereas your forearm is pronated. Then position of therapist is standing. And what the test? The test is the patient will be flexing the hand up to 90 degrees to the shoulder level without any rotations it should be in straight line as you are seeing picture and the scapula is should be allowed to be abduct and rotated where the, the therapist will place the hand on the shoulder and the instructions to the patient it is raise your arm forward to the shoulder height and take some holding on it but don't let me push in down to the instructions giving to the patient and the therapist will give against the resistance while he is flexing and he used to be resistant to the, the action so with that grade 5 and grade 4 is the figure showing out and grade 3 it is about without without resistance he should be flexing the range to the 90 degrees like sitting position therapist standing test is flexing the shoulder to 90 degrees instructions raise your arm up to the shoulder height this is for grade 3 and grade 210 that is has has showing in the picture short sitting therapist standing and he will place the uh, hand on the shoulder level it means it is only for the palpable contraction to one flicker, flicker of contraction and zero is no contractions but the test it should be raising the arm to 90 degrees but he cannot uh, the instructions is try to raise your arm to one zero two is your complete range of motion or partial range of motion has this against gravity and grade 1, it is your co contractile activity where the therapist will feel out. And grade 0 is no contraction. Next, coming into the shoulder extension. In this, 
the range is about 0 to 60 degrees or it might be sometimes 0 to 45 degrees also. In this picture, grade 5 and grade 4 tells about position of patient prone and the arms at the sided and your palm is up and the therapist is standing. Next, the testing is the patient should be raise the hand that he should be off the table. His hand should not be touch the table. It should be off. It means lifting the arm as high as the patient can. That is your instructions to the patient. And the therapist, it should, uh, he should, he or she must be given the resistance to the action. And grade 5, it tells about complete, complete range of motion against maximum resistance. And grade 4 is minimal resistance. If we are talking about grade 3 and grade 2, Position of patient is prone, arms at the side and standing therapist. Testing is the patient raises of arms and the instructions lift your arm as much as you can. But grade 3 doesn't give any resistance. And grade 2 is also the same. And grade 1 and 0, position of patient prone, therapist in standing. And the test and instructions, he should be raising the arm of the table just for standing. Grade 1 and grade 0. And the patient lifts the arm as much as high. But the grade 1 and grade 0, it is only the palpable that he should be testing the muscle at the lateral bone of the scapula. And palpate the teres major muscle. And next is your shoulder caption which is about 30 to 45 degrees and the, this figure it tells about grade 5 to grade 0 position of patient is in sitting short sitting and therapist is in standing and hand is used for resistance but what we'll do the, the testing is about the patient elevates the arm in a flexion and abduction it means he will in a flexion range and the abduction range at 30 to 45 degrees. And the instructions raise your arm to the shoulder height. And, and don't let me push it down. These are the instructions given to the patient. And the grades of MMT has follows. Complete range of motion against the gravity. Minimal, maximum resistance. 4 is minimal resistance. Grade 3, no resistance. Grade 2, with gravity elevated plane. And grade 1, flicker of contraction. And grade 0 is no contraction. Next, the shoulder abduction range. It is about 0 to 180 degrees. What is the position of patient? Here, short sitting and the elbow must be flexed. Little, slightly flexed. And the therapist standing and giving the resistance over the arm and the test is about he should be abduct the shoulder to 90 degrees and the instructions we will give lift your arm up to the shoulder height level this is about grade 5 4 your 5 is about maximum resistance grade 4 is minimal resistance and grade 3 with no resistance he will abduct the arm and next, grade 2, it, talk, it talks about position of patient, short sitting, position of therapist is in standing and he will palpate the muscle at the shoulder abduction level. Try to lift your arm out to the side. This is the instructions given for grade 2 or for uh, alternate gels also there, you can take your arm out to the side this is your palpation for the grade 2 and there is only a gravity elevated plane that's what the, for grade 2 the patient the patient is in supine with gravity elevated plane and grade 1 and grade 0 is flicker of contraction and no contraction supine position therapist in standing next shoulder horizontal abduction about 
वन थर्टी डिग्रीज ऑफ रेंज ऑफ मोशन वॉट हैपन्स पोजिशन ऑफ पेशेंट विल बी प्रोन एंड यू आर दे विल बी एन अपडेक्टेड टू नाइंटी डिग्रीज एंड द हैंड विल बी ऑन आउटसाइड एंड द पेशेंट फेसेस दी फेसेस टू एजर एनी ऑफ द वन साइड एंड द थेरापिस्ट इज स्टैंडिंग पोजिशन गिविंग द रेसिस्टेंस एट दी आर्म एंड द टेस्टिंग इज अबाउट द पेशेंट शुड बी अपडक दी आर्म टू इट्स लिमिटेड रेंज ऑफ मोशन एंड द इंस्ट्रक्शन लिफ्ट यूअर एल्बो अप इट मीन्स टू वर्ड्स द सीलिंग हैज द फिगर इज शोइंग आउट टू वर्ड्स द सीलिंग दैट इज यूअर फाइव फोर थ्री ग्रेड्स and five is your maximum four is your minimal grade three no resistance so 2 1 0 is about always remember it is against the gravity elevated plane that's what in a sitting position it's making in a position of therapist is standing and the testing is about he will tries to move the arm and the instructions you move the arm backward forward to the showing in this picture two is your gravity elevated plane one is your flicker of contraction zero no contraction and shoulder horizontal adduction it here grade 5 and 4 here you can they can test for the two heads clavicular head and the sternal head two heads they can be tested up and the shoulder must be abducted to 90 degrees and the elbow also in 90 degrees has showing in this picture position of patient is in supine and the therapist is in standing what the testing testing it is for both the both the two heads clavicular and sternal heads and the instructions you should be given to the patient for clavicular head move your arm up and inwards and the stern and the sternal head move your arm downward and in instructions to the patient next grading 5 4 3 5 4 a maximal and 4 is your minimal when coming into the grade 3 person of patient supine and therapist same in standing for testing clavicular head must be in a direction of motion in a diagonally and sternal head in a diagonally downward and inward instructions same as much as you can do the range of motion and grade 3 but no resistance grade 210 as a patient came from supine to the sitting in a gravity elevated plane person of patient in a sitting therapist in standing and testing move your arm backwards and frontwards it's to the range of motion and the instructions try to move your arm across your chest that is a forward or backward two is your in a uh, what it like uh, gravity elevated plane and grade one is your no uh, flicker of contraction grade zero is no contraction when coming into its external rotation 0 to 60 degrees the grades 5 4 3 position of patient is prone position and you can see the head is turned to one side and placing the towel yes towel at the arm side and the therapist position is in standing giving resistance at the wrist at the wrist has at the wrist the patient the therapist will give the resistance to the patient at wrist 5 4 3 and the testing it is about the patient will move the for move the forearm to the upward to way its rotation it's 0 to 60 degrees that is your external rotation of your shoulder all lat- lateral rotation of your shoulder and the instructions raise your arm to the table to the level of table level and don't let me push in down and grade 5 4 3 3 maximal minimal no resistance and grade 
it is prone with the head will be turned to the one side and then the therapist will be in standing in position where he will palpate the infraspinatus muscles or teres mu minor for the shoulder external rotation at the maxillary border he will palpate and the testing external rotation of your shoulder instructions turn your palm outward grade 210 to is your gravity admitted position grade 1 no motion pa only the palpation of the muscles or a flicker of contraction with no motion and grade 0 is no palpable contraction this is about shoulder external rotation when coming into its when coming into its shoulder internal rotation here 5 4 3 the position is in the position of patient is in prone position with shoulder is abduction and the therapist is in standing and the test is patient moves arm through the available range of motion that is your back and up and by placing the tool instructions to the patient is move your forearm up and back but don't let me push it down grade 5 4 3 is about complete range of motion against against the resistance that is a, uh, maximum resistance grade 4 minimal resistance grade 3 no resistance and grade 2 1 0 position of patient prone head will be turned to one side position of therapist standing and the testing is about internal rotation of the hand instructions palm will be away from the table that is your grade 2 1 0 against the gravity 1 flicker of contraction 0 no contractions so th these are the MMT testing for your shoulder actions and their muscles you should write up when they will ask in exam then you write the side headings as person of patient person of therapist and the testing instructions to the patient gradings all the five five two zero gradings it's with some a diagrammatic it is also good so they can be understand easily to, to the examiner to, to the evaluator he can understand and you a good marks so if ha you are having any come you are having any doubt you can comment on me thanks for watching